Hey, what's up guys? We are back again today. We're talking about amplifiers. We're going to talk about the Class B amplifier today, but before we get into that, let me tell you about a cool new website. Today's video is brought to you by Device Plus from Rome Semiconductor. This website was created to make engineers life a little more fun. You can find lots of information here. Information about using Arduino and Raspberry Pi, information about robotics, and just a lot of information to help make your projects easier and more fun. There will be a link down below to the Device Plus website. Alright, last time we talked about the Class A amplifier, which has an incredibly high gain but a rather low efficiency because we're always biasing the amplifier on. It's always on, it's always using power. So one of the ways that we can make it more efficient is to use what's called a class B amplifier. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. The class B amplifier is actually a lot simpler than the class A. You see the class A here, we have all of this going on. For the class B, now we, we, we could still definitely use a coupling capacitor, but all of those resistors that were needed for bias are gone. What we have here is our input signal coming into two parallel transformers, a, an NPN and a PNP and then our output signal. And what happens is during the positive part of the sine wave, the NPN transistor conducts. And during the negative part of the sine wave, the PNP transistor conducts, which makes this incredibly more efficient, but there is a little bit of a catch. While our efficiency is now up around 50%, we have something new called cross over distortion. And there's a reason for that. Do you guys know what it is already? Anyone? Think about it for a second. We're using transistors, a silicon junction device. And right there is your hint these transistors are not going to switch on until we have a base emitter voltage of about 0.7 volts. So when that waveform is crossing through the zero point, there is not going to be any conduction there. That's the crossover distortion. Let's look at that a little bit more in depth. All right, here is our paper oscilloscope. Zero volt, half a volt, one volt, same thing going negative. So as our signal crosses zero volts, there is not going to be any conduction at all until we cross this point right about here. And then it's going to conduct. Again, it's going to shut off here. And it's not going to conduct again until we get about there. It's going to shut off here. So our signal is going to look a lot like this. We're going to have a positive going position. And then there's going to be nothing here. And then our negative going position. So this time here, this time period where we are crossing through the, the zero point, there's, there's a missing part of the signal. And that's where we get into crossover distortion. So we looked at the class A, lots of gain, not very efficient. The class B, much more efficient, 
but now we have crossover distortion. What else can we do? Well, we can combine the two of them into what's called a class AB amplifier, which is one of the most used power amplifiers today. So this is, whoops, the class AB amplifier. Now you can see its similarity to the class A amplifier in that we are biasing the bases of the transistors. Oop. Hey, somebody didn't connect that one. That's not good. And you can see its similarity to the class B as that we're using a push-pull design. What this does is gives us an efficiency of at least 60%, eliminates the crossover distortion, and depending on where we bias the bases of the transistors, it's going to conduct between 180 and 360 degrees of the waveform. And our bias voltage is going to be small, no more than 10% of the quiescent current. So this is a really good compromise for audio amps. Of course, you know, the A is going to give you the most gain. The B is going to be more efficient. The C is the most efficient of all, but when we get to the C, you'll see why it's not great for audio. The A, B gives you the benefits of the A and the B, which, you know, that's why they call it the class A, B amplifier. So that's it for our class A or our class B and our class A, B. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.